Good morning. In these wild and crazy times, I th thought I'd show you a, a talisman that we made at Monday Night Magic Class. And we uh, made our, each of us made our own designs. This is a Saturn talisman. Those are the divine names and various spirits of Saturn there. On the other side is the Saturn seal. This is just a piece of uh, wood disc that I got it at, uh, what is it, Marshalls? Not Marshalls. Uh, uh, whatever the craft store is. And there's the seal of Saturn and all of the Shabbatai and all of that stuff. And along the sides, I put Saturnian-like mottos. Reduce selfishness. Have few desires. I can see the pomace palmistry people out there reading my hand and this is my favorite embrace simplicity anyway that's a little little detour there welcome again to another installment of the chicken kabbalah of rabbi lama ben clifford we're making our way through trudging our way through the Hebrew alphabet, and we've gotten up to uh, uh, Nun, or the Hebrew N, and uh, we're going to get through uh, hopefully five of them more today, and soon we'll be out of the Hebrew alphabet and, and into more, more knee-slapping fun. Uh, but anyway, this is Nun. Let's see here. There we go. None, and you see the path on the tree of life that it uh, that it joins. Number six to number seven there, and just so you can see what it looks like as I read the text, see all the work I do for you. None, or the Hebrew n. Path number 24 joins Tifereth, uh, number six, to Netzach, number seven. Nun looks a lot like Gimel. The only difference is Nun's leg connects solidly at the base. So there's a Gimel. Looks like stiletto heels there, see? But the Nun actually connects at the base. So don't confuse those two. None is the th third final letter. And those are the letters that look differently and have a different number assigned to them when they appear at the, the end of a word. Uh, it looks like a vav with a very long leg. It also looks like a little mirror. Look at that. The little mirror uh, on a stick that the dentist sticks in your mouth. The numerical value of Nun final is 700. Nun is spelled Nun Vav Nun. The three letters enumerate to 106, or if you use the Nun final, 756. Nun means a fish or fish. Fish are known for their ability to breed like crazy. Nun represents fecundity and regeneration. When dead fish decay rapidly and smell terrible, uh, none is the letter of that decay. This really isn't a paradox when you think about it. When you think about the fact that fertilizer smells terrible, but it helps make things grow. None is one of the 12 simple uh, letters 
and it represents the zodiac sign of Scorpio. And in the tarot trumps, represents uh, Scorpio and the death card. Now, you may think this is, I'm just trying to be funny with this uh, uh, death skeleton pushing a lawnmower. But the important thing about the scythe that a classic uh, uh, skeleton in a classic death card, the important thing about it is that T. The scythe has a T uh, or a capital Tav uh, handle. And I thought, I looked at our little push lawnmower here out in the garden, and I thought, gee, that's just like the death card's scythe. So, anyway, I wasn't only trying to be funny. Okay, Samak. Now, this is the best Samic I could get my printer to print out. And it's a, it's a little, it's a beautiful Samic, but it's just a little bit uh, uh, rounded at the edge than the Samic that I'm sort of used to, uh, uh, to seeing and describing. So, but anyway, Samic is path number 25. It joins Tifereth, or number six, to Yesod, the foundation. So it's right. It's one of those middle pillar ones. It goes right from six to nine. As a matter of fact, it shoots up like an arrow from number nine right into Tifereth, which kind of makes sense because it's, good. it's Sagittarius, the archer. Okay. Samic is path number 25, joins Tifereth Beauty to Yesod Foundation. Samic has a roof and a right leg identical with hay and Chet. The right leg connects with the top edge of a broad parallelogram, and the left leg reaches from the left edge of the base to the left underside of the roof. Do not confuse Samic with Mem Final. Samic is spelled Samic Mem uh, Kaf. The three letters enumerate to 120, or using Kaf final, 600, and means tent peg or prop. In biblical times, the tent peg was the most important and potent symbol because it was an absolute it was absolutely indispensable tool for the purpose of erection of the tent. Not only did it ensure the tent would rise toward heaven, but it also simultaneously secured it to earth. All this pointy phallic symbolism seems rather paradoxical when we consider the extremely female shape of the letter itself. Samic's meaning is phallic, but its shape suggests all things circular, the canopy of heaven, the vagina, the womb. Now, that paradox, especially in magic and alchemy, can be very important. Uh, Samic is one of the 12 simple letters and represents the zodiac sign of Sagittarius. And uh, Crowley sort of updated the title from uh, the Temperance card of the standard tarot deck, and he refined the title of the card, I think, and I did the same thing, uh, and he calls it the art card. And uh, if you'll remember the, the classic image of the art card is that angel standing in front of a cauldron uh, pouring water 
on a fire symbol of the lion and pouring fire on the water symbol of the eagle. And they're turning from their original colors, the red eagle and the white uh, uh, lion, they're turning to their opposite colors. So it's transmutation from the union of opposites. So, but that's a tarot class. And maybe we'll be doing a tarot class in the very near future. Okay, we're moving on to Oyen. There's Oyen. Now, this can be an A, an AY, an AU, an O, or even an NG in English. Oyen is path number 26. It joins Tifereth, that's number six, to Hod, Splendor, that's number eight. Oyen is very distinctive. It's built upon a bold right-leaning diagonal banana. There's one yod connected to the top of the banana, and a zion stabs the banana's top midsection. It looks very much like an English lowercase y. Now, do not confuse Oyen with the letter that we're going to see here in a minute, the Saudi final. Oyen is spelled Oyen Yud Nun. The three letters enumerate to 130 or using a nun final, 780, and mean I. Unlike a window or a hay that allows light and images to both enter and exit the house, the I is more of a one-way proposition. Through the eye, our inward being looks out at the world. For this reason and numerous others, Oyen has traditionally been associated with the meatus, the opening at the tip of the penis, through which the semen passes on its one-way adventure to egg land. Oyen also means fountain, spring, Source. Do I need to draw us a picture here? Oyen is also one of the simple letters and represents the zodiac sign of Capricorn. And the tarot trump that represents Capricorn is the devil. Okay, moving right along. Pay. Pay. And that's what it connects on the tree of life. That uh, second uh, 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 diagonal, excuse me, that second uh, horizontal path that joins eight and seven. Pay. Uh, and it can be a P or a PH or an F uh, in English style. Pay is path number 27 and joins Netzach, victory, to hold splendor. Pay is exactly like a calf, only it sports a distinctive tongue that dangles from the roof of its mouth. Now, there's a pay final. Now, pay is the fourth and uh, pay is the fourth and final uh, letter. Oh, excuse me, is the fourth final letter. Maybe we should talk to the guy who wrote this book and see how to say it. So. When used at the end of the word, it looks like a long vav with its tongue hanging out. Numerical value of pay final is 800. Pay is spelled pay, hey. The two letters enumerate to 85 and mean mouth. 
Now, what goes in the mouth is nourishment, is vital to human life, but what comes out of the mouth is speech. And what comes out of the mouth as speech is vital to our minds. It's no coincidence that the first and most important gift the mythology, mythological gods gave to humans was the gift of speech. Speech is one of the primary characteristics that separate humans from other living things. Once we started talking, our thought patterns were drastically overhauled. This had a profound effect upon our ancestors' self-image and view of reality, not to mention the way our brains would evolve from that point onward. Now, P is one of the seven double letters and represents the planetary sphere of Mars. And the Hebrew uh, letter is assigned to the tower card of the tarot trumps. Okay, and finally for today, and then we'll get on with our day, I guess. Saudi, which sort of is like a TZ or even an X in English. Saudi. Saudi's path number 28, it joins Netzach, that's number six on the Tree of Life, to victory. Uh, Netzach is called victory, and it uh, connects it to Yesod, uh, the foundation, that's number nine. Saudi is sometimes confused with Oyen. It looks like a man, okay, now try to follow along. It, tried, it looks like a man with a huge pompadour haircut, kneeling forward. He has just been stabbed in the back with a yod on a stick. Can you see that? Don't, and there is Saudi final. Saudi is the fifth final letter. When used at the end of a word, it looks like a regular Saudi that got up, that got up off its knees. Okay. The numerical value of Saudi is 900. Saudi is spelled Saudi Daleth Yud. The three letters enumerate to 104 and mean fish hook. It also relates to the word, to words such as hunt, hunter, hunted, to lie in wait, capture, an adversary. Saudi is one of the 12 simple letters and represents the zodiac sign of Aquarius. Now you'll notice on, you see the Aquarius okay there, but you see on my deck, the Hebrew letter assignment has been switched to hey. But you can do it any way you want, but it's assigned to Aquarius and in the tarot trumps, that is the star card. But in the Thoth deck and my deck, the Saudi is, uh, attributed to uh, the emperor. That's it for today. Uh, I hope you sat through that uh, that jumbled mess of, uh, of things here. I'm going to clear up my desk. And tomorrow, uh, uh, we're going to uh, continue on. We're going to finish up the Hebrew alphabet, uh, or at least the examination of the individual letters like that tomorrow. And uh, if you do have uh, a copy of the Chicken Kabbalah, uh, it might be nice uh, for the day after tomorrow for you to have those, uh, uh, the table of the entire table of correspondences for the Hebrew alphabet at hand 
as we discuss, as we discuss it. Until then, wonderful day. Uh, be good to yourself. Be good to each other. Uh, do what thou wilt should be the whole of the law. Love is the law. Love under will. Goodbye.